Greetings and welcome back to the Lily Lectures. I am William Lilly, the author of Christian Astrology. Today the pages fall onto an intriguing matter of a sick doctor. We'll analyze the astrological factors at play, providing valuable insights into the nature of the disease, its causes, and even its potential duration. The chart is cast for the 18th of May, 1645, at 6.10 p.m. in London, England, using Regio Montanus houses. The rising sign, indicated by the ascendant, is Scorpio. Notably, the cello, a fixed star, graces the vicinity of the ascendant, but it is not afflicted by the negative position or presence of any malevolent planet. Our focus now shifts to the sixth house, where we find Saturn in his fall, signifying diseases due to his unfavorable presence. From this, I concluded that I should look to the afflicted house to determine the specific body part affected or most affected. So, what part of the body is afflicted, you may ask? Since Mars rules the ascendant and recently separated from a square aspect with Saturn, both in cardinal signs at the time, Mars was in Cancer at the time of the square, we deduce that the affected body parts are the head, breast, heart, and stomach. A melancholic obstruction in the breast or stomach is identified as the root cause of the doctor's suffering. Now, what caused this sickness? Saturn, the main significator of the illness, is in his own terms with the moon applying to him. This combination suggests melancholy and dry diseases, particularly affecting the head and breast. Determining the exact mixture for treatment is the domain of physicians who are well versed in the diseases that can arise from these causes. Mars, the Lord of the Ascendant, also finds himself in Saturn's terms, while the Moon, outside of Saturn's terms, forms a square aspect with the Sun, who was in Mars's terms. This introduces cholera as a secondary cause of the doctor's ailment. Symptoms included severe head pain, silence, melancholy, insomnia, a dry cough, weakness and pain in the breast and heart, a complexion tending toward jaundice, lingering consumption, fatigue, and joint pain. As Scorpio ascends, representing the genitalia and bladder stones, the moon in Aquarius also points to genitalia-related ailments. The doctor experienced difficulties in urination, passed red gravel, and endured substantial pain in those regions. Given my limited expertise in medicine, I advised the doctor to consider gentle, warm, moist, and cordial medicinal remedies to alleviate his condition temporarily. The moon in the fourth house, forming a sextile with Saturn, indicated illness until death, a prognosis that sadly came to pass on the 14th of August following our consultation. Finally, let's explore whether the disease was long or short-lived. Saturn, as the significator of the disease, points toward permanence or continuation. The fixed signs in the chart's angles, along with both the moon and sun in fixed signs and in a square aspect, support the notion of a prolonged illness. The presence of Mars, the Lord of the Ascendant, and the Sixth House in a fixed sign further reinforces this prognosis. And there you have it, a comprehensive analysis for finding illness in a horary chart. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I look forward to exploring more astrological mysteries with you in the future. Until then, stay curious and keep seeking the wisdom of the stars. I am William Lilly, and this is Christian Astrology.